Hello everybody, my name is Vera Chikese Oke and I'm the sexologist for Wholesome Sexuality. Here we talk about sex, 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 as it affects your sexual health, your personal health, your marriage. Have you subscribed? Have you liked? Have you shared? If you haven't done any of those, quickly do that while we get ready to talk about sex. matters are rising the matter is really arising and it's getting worse and worse and worse but you guys know i will come and tell you about it and i'll come and educate you about it we might play a bit but i will pass the message across so some days ago i received a message in the dm and it says i'll read it to you because i'm not quoting anybody i'll read exactly the way it was sent to me it says Good evening, coach. My wife told me she was a virgin. To my greatest surprise, she didn't bleed on our wedding night. I feel betrayed and I can't stand the sight of her. Before you start getting angry, calm down. Calm down. Don't even be in a hurry to judge. Don't be too quick to judge because there are different sides to this. So today we're going to be talking about bleeding after first intercourse. I don't think I really blame this man. Yeah, come for me. I don't think I really blame this man. I blame the society. I blame our country. I blame culture. I blame people that told us that if you don't bleed, on your first sexual experience, you were not a virgin. I blame people that told us that you must bleed when you have sex for the first time. Those are the people I blame. Yes, I can blame the guy a bit for not, because we are evolving. Things are happening. More information, more scientific um, research has happened. And we've been told new information. So I blame him for staying in the past and marrying a futuristic woman or marrying a woman. So first, let me educate you on how the vagina works, right? The vagina has a thin tissue that stretches across part of the opening. This is called a hymen. The hymen can either be thick or thin. Now, the fact that the definition says that is a thin tissue does not mean that some people don't have a thick tissue. So it's basically a curtain. Now, when there's a curtain in your house, you either walk through the curtain, pat the curtain, or pull the curtain down, right? You can either walk through the curtain, pat the curtain, or pull the curtain down. For those that are very imaginative, I'm sure you are beginning to imagine Imagine a penis going into a vagina and there's a curtain. Yes, the hymen can either part, it can either, the penis can either shift it to one side and pass or hits through it and tears it open or pushes through it, right? In these three ways by which the penis penetrates the vagina during first intercourse, there may or may not be bleeding, depending on the amount of force applied. There may or may not be bleeding. Now, because of the way the hymen was manufactured by our creator, right, some people's hymen can be ruptured during physical activities. This hymen can be ruptured during physical activity. So if you're very athletic, if you're very physical, right, if you're someone that does a lot of pelvic floor exercises, a lot of stretches and stuff, the hymen can actually shift or rupture. And if you probably bled at that time, you would think it was your menstrual flow coming out. You may think you were spotting before your menstrual flow or spotting after. You wouldn't even know that it was a hymen that took a bow. 
So sometimes when a person has vaginal sex for the first time, their hymen gets stretched open, which may cause some bleeding. This bleeding we're talking about, uh, because of society, in those days, when you have sex for the first time in your marriage as a virgin, the elders and the mature women, the umada and all that, they will now gather the outside of your husband's house waiting for you people to finish. Then they will now bring out, your husband will now bring with his full chest, feeling like a man. He will now bring out the white cloths. Now open it. <laughs> They will now start shouting, hey! Your mother will now be, you know, placed on high chair that she trained the girl very well, that the girl was a virgin till marriage. And then, the reverse is the case. If they open that white cloth and there's no stain on it, now the girl will be ostracized. She will be, sometimes she will be beaten and chased out of the village. That marriage is cancelled, right? It's, now, the sin of the girl will be mentioned on her mother. There are a lot of things that tradition does that scientifically doesn't make sense, right? So you see, the fact that the girl or the woman did not bleed does not necessarily say that she didn't come to you as a virgin. You see, I use the word necessarily say, because some people will now take this, the fact that not everybody bleeds, and now say they are virgins. So when you have sex for the first time, because we have sensitized the men now, you now say because you did not bleed. If you could not bleed, say, ah, no, she was a virgin, she did not bleed. See, no, there's no virginometer. There's no place we are marking syllabus for virgin or not virgin. What God demands from us is sexual purity and not virginity. Yes. Virginity is part, shows that you were sexually pure. It's part of the ways we can know that you were sexually pure. But not all virgins are sexually pure. Some virgins, some vaginal virgins, I chose my word carefully because there are some vaginal virgins that are not anal virgins. They have sex anally. They have outer course. They do everything but penetrate. Right. But the question is, again is, who is holding the scorecard? Because this young man now that is reporting his wife, hello sir, are you also a virgin? Because when the Bible was saying that we should be sexually pure, he wasn't referring to the woman. He did not say the woman should be sexually pure. He did not say the woman should be a virgin. God demands sexual purity from both man and woman. From both man and woman, right? So if for some reason you had sex with your wife, Let's even imagine that she knew she was not a virgin and then she told you she was a virgin and you had sex with her and she didn't bleed because you, the bleeding part now we have just made it null and void. Whether she bled or she did not bleed does not state whether she's a virgin or not. Yes, I know that is a bridge in trust and all that, but based on this knowledge of the fact that not all virgins bleed should let you know that, okay, Probably my wife was actually a virgin, but she just did not bleed. Right. Okay. But if she was not a virgin and she lied to you that she was a virgin, it's a conversation you will need to sit with her and have with her. You know, people come across from different angles saying, is he a vampire? Why is he looking for blood? Why is he looking for, uh, why is he looking for virgin blood? Blah, 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 blah. I don't think he's looking for virgin blood. He just did not know that not all virgins bleed. So sir, before you start thinking that your wife lied to you or start feeling betrayed, get knowledge. Knowledge is everywhere. And since you have not been able to get knowledge, I hope this video answers it for you. Not all virgins bleed. And the fact that the woman did not bleed does not state her being a virgin or not. And please, how do we even know if the man was a virgin in the first place? But I don't want to go into all that details. I just wanted to use this question to trash out the issue of bleeding and not bleeding. Quick tip for you. Don't believe all you see in the movies. See you in the next video.